I was born here in Francisco, Sarabia. I was raised here and as I got older, I played with my friends. And that's where I met Apollonio. I thought with my husband, I will not suffer because he would give me what I want. He started to get sick. He got headaches, stomachache, and nausea. He went and had the HIV test done, and it did come out positive. When he told me, I thought I was going to faint. I couldn't believe he has that illness. I did not believe it. My kids are going to die, I told him. He stopped taking his medications. He started to get sick. I took the test. It came back positive, the test that they did. I was pregnant. My baby was almost due, and I believe it was about a month for the baby to be born. And then Apollonio died. Fifteen days after I had my test done, he died. And then they say they would test the kids. I would cry. I would say, my kids are going to have it. What would I do if they were positive? All that illness, what am I going to do? And I went and they did the test on my kids. And the test came out negative. Before, my life was, well, I live happy. With no worries, I would not think that I was going to die. I would get sad. I am going to die. I would cry. With who are my kids going to stay? My mother is very old. She can't work or take care of my children. My life is changing now. Now I live cheerful, happy that I am on my treatment. I go walking to the hospital. I would have liked to tell Apollonio the things that I want, what my kids need or what I need, but it's not possible. Señora, muy buenos días. ¿Está usted? Sometimes I look at the medication and say I don't want to take it. And then I think about it and say, I'm going to regret it. Who are my kids going to stay with? So I take it. But I do get frustrated. I would tell people that live with HIV to think positive. Don't get discouraged. You think that you are going to die. We think we are going to die. But if you take your medication, we will not die. <laughs>